This is Teslong's latest NTS700, a 7-inch IPS triple lens industrial inspection camera. With this camera, you can inspect plumbing pipes with high-definition pictures and videos, inspect drywall to check inside the wall without cutting open the entire wall, use this for automotive inspections like engines, brake pads, etc., inspect air ducts and vents without opening them up. This NTS700 camera can also be used for rescue missions, and since the cable and camera are IP67 waterproof, you can even use it for swimming pool lines inspection. So this NTS700 bore scope is very versatile, in fact it's way better than its previous iterations like the NTS500 and NTS300 which I have reviewed in depth and the review videos are linked at the end of this video. So let's check this NTS700 out in depth. Let's start with price. This NTS700 is listed for 289 US dollar and I have attached the direct link to this inspection camera in the video description and pinned comment. Also, there is a significant discount code for this camera. Be sure to take the advantage while it lasts by heading down in the video description. Teslong has been making all sorts of inspection cameras for years along with a lot of other products. Check out their website from the links in the description. Now I'm a huge fan of their robust packaging. All their cameras come in a nice sturdy carrying case like this. This carrying case looks huge but it's not at all heavy. It's pretty lightweight. The locking mechanism is very strong. Inside the case, there is a foam padding everywhere for protection. There is a safety warning booklet which I will highly advise to read before using this inspection camera. There is a detailed user guide which will brief you with all its function. Pause this video to read through all the specs from this list right over here. Moving on, there is a USB Type A to Type C charging cable. Finally, now they have used USB Type-C port which is way better as I can charge this NTS700 with any of my smartphone chargers. There are attachment accessories like this magnetic attachment to pick up keys and other small metallic object and trust me this is very handy as I have been able to save keys dropped by my kids in the air vents. This is a hook attachment which you can hook objects like cables, lines, etc. and the hook is very strong. I have reviewed some cheap bore scope that comes with flimsy hooks that will easily bend but this is quite strong and they have included this nice carry bottle so you don't lose all these attachments. I really like their probe. The one that is included here is a 16.5 feet long articulating robust industrial probe that has three different lengths. Each lens has its own LED bright light and each lens has its own focal length. Pause the video now to read through all the details of each of these lens which we will test it out later during the video for their quality. Finally, it's the NTS700 unit itself. This NTS700 unit looks big but it's actually very lightweight and ergonomic to hold. In fact, I really appreciate Teslong's effort on focusing on good hand ergonomics as you can hold this unit in your hand without getting hand fatigue for a long period of time. And it's not just this, all their other units that I have reviewed are quite ergonomic to hold. All the weight of this unit is focused on to this side and the other side is just the screen so you don't feel that hand fatigue at all. Plus you can hook all your fingers behind this bulge which has textured surface for easy gripping. Plus, there is this textured thumb grip, so this unit is quite secure with just one hand. And all the function keys are on an easy reach with your thumb. There is this lanyard loop, which personally I will not use as I find it it's in the way of use. I would rather use the lanyard loop at the back, which I find it's not in the way while using this unit at all. This is the power button. When the light is blue, that means the device is on. When it's flashing red and blue, that means the device is on plus it's charging. And when it's flashing red, that means the device is turned off but it is charging. This green button on the left hand side is for a bright white LED light, which is my favorite and it is also offered on their previous version and it is super handy. Moving on at the back, there is this kickstand which is removable if you wish to do so. There are few details of this device right over here and you can see this unit has a 6000 mAh battery cell which is huge and another cool part is that you can mount any cell phone tripod stand via this attachment if you wish to. Moving on this is the speaker grill. The reset button is right over here. This bulge houses a full size HDMI port to attach an external monitor if you wish to which we will test it out later during the video. 
Finally at the bottom here is the microphone and this houses a USB type C port that supports PD fast charging and you can literally charge this device with any of your smartphone charger and you can also connect this NTS 700 to your PC via this USB C port to transfer all the pictures and videos files stored on this memory card. Thankfully Teslong does include a 32GB memory SD card with all their units which I find is enough. Guys if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for sticking around be sure to hit that like button so it can help this video to reach out to a lot of amazing people like you. Now let's go ahead and connect the probe and briefly show you how to use this unit. Now it is very important that you connect the probe properly as if you do it the wrong way you may end up damaging these pins. There is this red dot with which you have to line up this groove on the probe connector. If you align them right, the probe connector will just slide in easily then screw up this ring to secure the probe connection and you're all set. This ring is what secures the connection so make sure to put it all the way through. Now to turn on the unit just press and hold the power button and you will instantly see the live feed. Honestly this 7 inch high definition IPS display is quite bright and crisp with its 1280 by 720p resolution. Now these probes are backward compatible to all the other units and Teslong even offer various probe options with the different length, single, dual and triple lens along with autofocus lens option. So be sure to check out their website in case if you want a different probe. Now this button as indicated is to toggle through different brightness options. Now this button under it has two functions. Single pressing this button will capture a picture if you are in a picture mode or it will start a video recording if you are in the video mode. The same can also be pressed one more time to stop the video recording. Now if you long press this button it will switch the lens from A to B which is this side lens or from B to C which is the other side view lens. You can even have a split screen view of the lens A and B or A and C which is pretty cool. I really wish there was a triple split screen option showing all the cameras together. But split screen will be quite helpful if you want to target multiple angles together. Now this up and down button can be used to flip the viewfinder. This M button is for various modes like the picture mode, the video mode and the gallery. Unfortunately the gallery does not have a thumbnail preview, you just have to toggle between each image and video by pressing the up and down key. While you're in the gallery you can press the settings button to delete the image. You can get an option to delete one or all the data on the card together. You can even protect an image so that it cannot be deleted from this device. Now on the viewfinder you can see the mode on the top left. And on the top right you can see the SD card is inserted and the battery level. And on the bottom right you can see the time and date stamp. Speaking of battery, this unit has a 6000 mAh battery cell which from my testing can easily go up to 4 hours of continuous use and it takes about 3.5 hours to fully charge. So I am quite contented with the battery capacity. Finally, when you are in the camera or the video mode, you can press this setting button to access the mode specific settings like for camera you can change the resolution, date stamp and shutter sound. You can press this settings button again to access more settings like auto shutdown time, language, date and time, format the device, restore the device to factory setting and the version. Now the best thing about this NTS 700 which previous versions did not have is Wi-Fi. So this Wi-Fi option you can access this device remotely on any smartphone along with this display. For this you have to first turn on the Wi-Fi from this NTS 700. Now go on your smartphone in my case it's an iPhone and under Wi-Fi settings you can find this access point when you click on it your iPhone will get connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot of this NTS 700. Now you need to download this smart endoscope app available for free both on Apple App Store and Android Play Store. Once installed when you open the app you can select this plus icon on the top right to find the NTS 700 camera and it will be instantly connected. You can also connect multiple different cameras if you have them. But when you open the camera you will see a live feed from the camera with no lag. Honestly the connection is quite solid and I have not encountered any lags at all. 
You can take a picture or record a video and even access the content on the SD card from this gallery option. The best part is you can directly store the recorded picture and video on your smartphone which is very handy. Finally with all that being done let me show you some samples of pictures and videos from this NTS 700 and wrap this video up with my final say. Feel free to pause the video to have a detailed look at all the samples. Now I have used this inspection camera to check out plumbing pipes and the garburetor to see if there are any issues and this has been very resourceful. Here are some images and the video clips. Now I have also used this NTS 700 to inspect drywall and here are some samples. I have even used this NTS 700 to inspect my car's engine and brake pad and here are some images and videos. You can even use this NTS 700 to inspect air ducts to see how dirty they are or to hook up any objects that are stuck inside the air ducts. And here are some examples of the images and videos. Finally, I have even used this NTS 700 to inspect the lines in my hot tub as this probe is IP67 waterproof. So you can easily use it underwater. Just make sure to thoroughly clean and dry the lens after use. And here are some samples. Also just for demonstration purpose you can plug in any HDMI monitor to this NTS 700 via this HDMI port at the back. This will be able to cast the device on an external display like a monitor or a TV or a projector which is just mind blowing. With all that said here are my final thoughts. This NTS 700 is very versatile and it can be used in many settings like plumbing, drywall, electricals, pool, automotive, rescue and educational as shown earlier. The quality of the images and videos are very crisp and high definition. Even the device itself is very well built with all the functions. Some of my favorite are accessing this NTS 700 onto a smartphone or connecting it to an external HDMI compatible display. The device itself is very easy to use, the triple lens probe is very handy and all the probes are backward and forward compatible so you can get the probe separately for your specific need. So for just $290 this is my favorite inspection camera, check out the links for huge discount while it lasts, also subscribe to my channel for regular tech videos and check out their other endoscope as you may find them helpful.